Um, this is the right one. Right. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hold on. I'm good. What about you? Hold on, I can't hear you. Oh, you're on mute, that's why. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm just finished my meal. What did you have? Uh, beans and platano and chocolate. Chocolate. How do you like your plantains? Um, fried? Fritos. <clears throat> ah, fried. Fried plantains. Hi, Gio. Hi, good evening. Hi, Gio. Let me see that shirt. Hi. Hi. Let me see that shirt. I want to see the the printing on it. Just print. make up. It's a nice <laughs> shirt. I like it. It's a dragon or something. No, it's an eagle. He's saying. Eagle. Yeah, eagle. Yeah. Have you had dinner, guys? Yes. <laughs> Why did you say that? Do you eat a lot. Of me. What did you eat? Two jalapeno pupusas. Wow. Good evening. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hi, good evening. But that's not Hi, a lot. Good they were probably big. That's why you're saying that. Jalapeno. Okay, you, what you eat is so Salvadorian now that I see it. Let me see. I had lunch. I haven't had dinner. I had um, noodles, like Chinese noodles. <laughs> so not Salvadorian anymore. <laughs> Hi, hi, man, Veronica. Hi. Welcome. How are you doing tonight? Don't speak about food. I'm hungry. <laughs> Sorry. You can grab a snack. Come on, grab a snack and come sit here to, for your class. I <laughs> it's okay. ate that chocolate right now. Okay, that's going to help you. I am well, always eating at class. Really? <laughs> okay, are we ready for another class? Yes, we are. Yes. All right, awesome. I guess we're going to finish uh, section five tonight, hopefully. Well, let me share my screen. Um, here's the objective. Can you read it, please, Carla? Hi, everyone. By Hi, the Alan. end of this lesson, you will learn to use the past perfect tense. Okay. Um, let me see if it's the same one as last night. News broadcast. It is the same one, right? Let me saw this, then yeah. this. Past perfect overview. Okay. Okay, this video we haven't watched. And if you and if we have, let me know. But I'm pretty sure we only watched the first one. So let's see. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to form past perfect statements. Stolen. Okay. Go ahead and um, give a couple of. We haven't seen this one, right? The negative form, question form. Okay. Yeah. I, no. I was just double checking. Okay, it does not one. yet. Hi everyone. Let's take notes on the structure for the negative form, question form, and all of them, please. By the end of this class, you'll be able to form past perfect statements. We'll learn the structure and practice. So let's get started. In our previous lesson, we learned about the past perfect. And it's always important to keep that in mind. We use the past perfect to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the structure. So let's get started. I would like to start by making positive statements. So the first thing that I would like to point out is uh, just the structure and then we'll see how that structure works. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so that you can see clearly. So in order to form the past perfect, we're going to have a subject and then that is going to be followed by an auxiliary. That happens to be had, as you can see there, color in red. And then after that, we, uh, we're we going to follow the past participle of the verb. So we're going to include the past participle of the verb. And then finally, we will have a complement to that sentence. In the example, we see that we're using the past event and the past perfect event. And that's because we're 
combining two tensors together and we're using those accordingly. So as you can see, we, we see the past event here and then we have the past perfect event as a continuation of that. But I, I mentioned that um, we, these sentences can be separate or they can be together. So let's look at the examples at this time. Um, I mentioned that we're going to have some sort of subject, so we're going to say someone, all right, and I'm going to borrow that second example that you see there at the bottom. Uh, this follows the auxiliary verb. This, in this case, is going to be hat, and then this is going to be this is going to follow the past participle of whatever verb that I'm using. So in this case, uh, the verb is steal, all right, and the past participle of that verb is stolen, okay. So someone had stolen my wallet. Just to emphasize uh, what we're doing, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, try to see if I can if I can point this out in the right place so that we can clearly see what is it that I'm talking about. So the subject is someone. All right, uh, I should color this maybe blue, the same thing as it's in red, the auxiliary verb is in red, and then the past participle is uh, the verb that we're going to use in uh, the past participle. So in this case, I'm using the color uh, green. So let's look at the other examples that are on this chart up here. I have put my stuff in my locker. So first of all, we have the subject is I. It follows the auxiliary verb had and then the past participle of the verb, in this case is put, um, and then we will include a complement. I have put my stuff in my locker. My stuff in my locker will be the complement. Um, finally, we have another sentence uh, that we want to emphasize, so let me do that right now. Okay, so we have, I have forgotten to lock the locker. So uh, once again, we have the subject in that sentence is I, Excluder verb have the past participle of the verb forget it's forgotten and then the complement becomes to lock the locker. Now quickly what I want to explain is how to make negative statements in the past perfect. Let me go ahead and um, give a couple of examples here. Um, there are no negative sentences in this little chart so I'm going to make those and I'm going to try to um, <coughs> make sense of them. So let me first explain the structure of that. Uh, so the structure to make negative sentences, negative statements or negative sentences. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, the only thing that changes is that instead of had, we're going to include hadn't. Uh, by the way, this is also the same thing as saying had not. So you might see that either by saying had not or hadn't. Now, the most common thing to do is that we will use the contraction. All right, so most of the time, you'll see contractions to that effect. So let me give you then a few examples, and then um, I'm going to have you do a few examples as well. All right. So I'm going to try to see if I can fit those in into the structure that we see here. Subject is I. In this case, I mentioned we're going to use hadn't. All right. So let me just make sure that we're using the appropriate colors here, just to make sure that we're understanding what we're doing. So. Uh, in that case, that's the auxiliary verb, uh, and in this case, because it's a negative, we, we're going to say hadn't. Um, then we use the past participle of that verb, uh, so in this case, um, it's lock, uh, the past participle that is locked. Um, maybe another quick example that you can probably relate to is the following, so I'm going to go ahead and write that. I hadn't finished my work, so I couldn't leave work at, at that time. So what I would like for you to do next is I would like for you to practice these concepts, practice making positive statements following this structure. We're not going to do that activity. I think with this explanation, it's clear how to form the negative and the question form, right? Is it clear how to make the negative and question form? <laughs> no? No. If it's not, we can practice. <laughs> it's okay. That's why I'm asking you. All right. Well, let me see. Um, 
if there is an exercise to practice all forms before we continue with the speaking activity in the past. So yeah, this is negative. Okay, with this exercise, we can practice the affirmative and the negative form. Let me see if we can practice questions. No, we cannot practice questions, but just affirmative and negative. Let's do that one then before we practice the, the questions we were discussing last night. Okay, let me show it to you. And I'm gonna send it to you anyway. So this one right here, let's do two of them together. Let's do an affirmative one and a negative one, okay? So remember that you can use the long structure, which is had not, or you can use the contraction, right? Had it for the negative form, okay? And then um, you always use had plus past participles of the verb, which by now you know the majority of. Okay, first one is affirmative. Uh, you want to help me with this one, Carlos? Go ahead. I don't, okay, there you are. Oh, I don't hear you, Carlos. Uh, negative positive or negative past perfect simple. Um, yeah, when I arrived, I, when <clears throat> when I hadn't arrived at the cinema, uh, no, no, the, when, I arrived, mm -hmm. when I arrived at the cinema, the film hadn't started. Uh, this is affirmative. If you see not, like in this one here, let me see at the bottom, we have not. If you see not, it's negative. If it's not there, it means it's affirmative, okay? I just wanna okay. see if we have okay. a yeah. two, we don't. Okay, in this case, uh, when I arrive at the cinema, the film had start. Um, like this? Start, start started. It. started. Started, okay. Started. Very good, let's check. And yes, it is right. Now let's do the negative one that is here, uh, down here. Okay, you wanna help me with this one, Yesenia? Um, she told, uh, number 10. 11. 11, okay. The grass was yellow because it, the grass was yellow because it hadn't uh, run uh, all summer. Rained. Ra rained, rained uh, all summer. Hadn't rained. Maybe the apostrophe I used is not right, but it is the right answer. Okay, if you use the not contracted form, had not rained, I think it's gonna say it's right, yeah. So if the apostrophe is giving you issues, use the long form, okay? So let's do this exercise. I'm gonna time it this time. So we're gonna do, let me see, six or seven minutes, depending on how you do. Seven minutes maximum to do this exercise, okay? And I guess, hold on. Let me send it to the chat. I will send it here and then I will send it to WhatsApp, okay? So let's do that to finish practicing and then we'll discuss. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Yes. We're gonna go in groups of three. So accept the invitation, please. Open the link. One person, if you can share screen, that will be better. your phone or on your computer yeah i am in, i am connected by com my computer but I, 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 the, I, 
say chair is a green bottom. I want to see, I want to see, but I, I um, okay, 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 yeah. Excellent. Number three. Before she went to Thailand. Yeah, number three. After they had eating. Eight. Eight. In past, yes. Past part. Okay, good. The shell Sorry. No. no, guys, you always need past participle. What's a past participle yeah. of eat? Eat, eight, eight, yeah. and eight, 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 eating, eating, no. eating, 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 Okay, A. T E N. Eating. Not T E. T E. E. E as in Edward. Carl. N. Yeah, it's correct. Yes. <laughs> okay. Eating. 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 That's the pronunciation. Okay. Eating. Eating. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you mm -hmm. have listen. listen, 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 mm -hmm. uh -huh. listen, listen. Gio, are you using hey, your phone or the computer? Are you using... I'm using the phone and the computer. <laughs> Could you share your screen by any chance? Yes. Yeah. Please, <laughs> so that we can have something visual. All right, say on the third one. Okay. In the third one. Third one. Eating, 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 eating with E N eating. at the end of the, no E N. Eating. E N. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The blue box song. <laughs> Number five. Mm -hmm. You did the, the right until uh, left. I have a I had left. 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 I have left. I have left. No, no, L E F T. No. Left. L E F T. L. Like to the left, to the left, right and left, left. L-E-F-T. L-E-F-T. Yes. And number six. When, when we, we have finished. We have finished. 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 Yes, that is the pronunciation. Dinner. Yeah. We, went, we went out. Okay. Mm -hmm. The garden yeah. was lit because it... Yeah. Have ham, ham. Had been. Had been. Had been. Been. Had been. B e i m. B e i m. Had been. E e m. Had been. No, but that is the. Yeah. That's. That Sorry. is. <laughs> yeah, that's the next one. Uh, yeah. Had been. Uh, had been. No. E E N. Have been. E E N. E -N. Mm -hmm. been. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And if you don't know the past participle, Geo, I would recommend you to go to open a tab and type it past participle and it gives you the answer. B past participle and it gives you the answer. It's okay if you don't know all the verbs, guys, yeah. but um, but we have to find them. Okay. And they're helping you anyway. So yeah. okay, number eight. He had met. He had met. Had met. Her. He had met. Somewhere before. Met. M E D. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, number twelve. Twelve. The light. The light went off because of the call we hadn't 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 
Play, 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 Two more minutes to finish. You, you can try it happen. Mm -hmm. You can try to contract it if you want to. Had uh, not paid. No, that's it. No. Yeah. That's it. No, no, no. Okay. No, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. It. Sure. The children. The children. Ha then. Haven. Haven. It's haven. Right. Friday is the negative okay. form. Yeah. Yeah. Rain, rain. Rain. Yes. Rain. The light the light twelve. When the light because we, we hadn't paid. 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 ID. Yes. Yeah. The children. The children. Hadn't had, had had done. Hadn't done. Yes. They hungered, so they yeah. were in trouble. Fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. They hadn't eaten. They they hadn't eaten eating, so we went it, to a restaurant. Yeah, the first participle, right? Yeah. Yes. Hadn't eaten. Exactly. We Fifteen. Concert, we couldn't go into the concert because we hadn't, hadn't broke, broke our broke. ticket. Hadn't broke. Hadn't we had broke. broke. You? You? Yes. Yes, yeah. Sixteen. She, that, she, that she, said, she said that she hadn't visited. 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 Ah, man. I and, the, and the next one. Yeah. I always write it in the same. Hadn't what? Hadn't visit. visit. Visited. Exactly. Julie, Julie uh, and, and uh, Ang had Okay, so now we know how to form the affirmative and negative form, right? Okay. Yes. We're going to focus on yes. making yes, no questions and WH questions right now, okay? Let's watch okay. a video and then we'll practice. So here's a video. Let me see. Oh yeah, this is the one. All right, let me play it here. There it is. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to form questions using the past perfect tense. So let's get started. I would like to start off by presenting the formula, if you will, in order to form past perfect questions. So let me include the formula now to this document and then I'm going to write a couple of questions and then we're going to try to make sense of those two questions there. So let me start off by having a yes or no question and then we're going to try to make sense of this particular question of course following this formula that we see here. So first of all um, if we have a yes and no question, I will start by using had, that's the auxiliary verb, all right? And I'm going to go ahead and color that real fast just to make sure that we are understanding this particular topic. I think I'm using green color there, yeah. And then um, this follows the subject. In this case, this happens to be you. So let me put a little blue color there. Uh, then uh, we will use the past participle of the verb that we're using. So in this case, it's the verb study. Okay, there we go. Um, and then we have a complement. So that uh, in black, you see that that's a complement of this particular question. So the question is, had you studied English before taking this class? Right? Um, and um, that's how we form a yes or no question. Now let me write a WH question. Uh, and WH questions will uh, what that means is that we're going to include a WH word and we do that whenever we want more information about a particular topic. 
uh, this the way to do it is almost the same thing with the only difference that we will include a WH word. As you can see there, we have a WH word there. Um, and then hat continues to, we use the auxiliary hat. Uh, we include the subject. Uh, in this case, we include the past participle of the verb and then whatever complement that exists. So the question is, where had you studied English before taking this class? So maybe the answer to the previous question was yes. And then we went and uh, we asked a second question. Where had you studied English before taking this class? So what I would like for you to do now is to practice making lots of questions in order to make sure that you're understanding this particular topic. All right, so my tip is always the same. Um, hi, Alvin and Ricardo. <laughs> I saw you just joined. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Sounds very similar. Okay, well, my tip is always yes, no questions and WH questions are basically the same, right? In the past, present, future, past, perfect, any tense you can imagine except for the WH question, okay? So that is a tip. Now, here's the exercise we're going to do. I will give you, again, eight minutes for you to finish it. Um, let's do number one and two, no, number one and three together. And then the rest of them you're going to do in a group, okay? So the first one, how do you think this question should be made? Where did you went there? Mm -hmm. Although this is a yes, no question. The WH, you're going to be given it. This is the WH question, and this is a yes, no question. Where have you gone there before we went together? Mm -hmm. So hold on, let me give you an example. So you're going to say, had you studied English was one of the examples, right? Had you, had you seen her before? So this is a yes, no question. It's going to start with have. And the only difference I always say right between a WH question and a yes, no question is this, like where? And then I copy paste this, had to seen her, okay? So we're gonna start with had in this case. So what's the question here? Had. Have you gone? Had you? Gone. 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 Had you gone? There, there, before we went there before we went together. Mm -hmm. Yes, that should be right. Had you gone there? Right. Very good. And this is a WH question. So why? Why, why had he forgot? Had why? He, had, why? He, had he forgot? forgotten? Forgotten. 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 About the meeting. Mm -hmm. Have forgotten. Yes, forget. make sure you're saying have and not have, okay? All right, have. that is the exercise. Are you ready? Yes. That's basically yeah. it. All right, seven or eight minutes, and then we're going to come back. And let me make groups right now. Let me send it here. You know, right? One person try to share a screen so that we can see there is a new exercise. I'll send it to WhatsApp in a little bit. Let me make the groups first. Okay, let me see one more. Let's practice, accept the invitation, please. Sharing. Stop sharing. Link. Yeah. Okay. Confirm me, please, when you see my screen. Yeah, I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. the first is a have. Have you gone? Have you yeah. Gone? Have you gone? Gone. Uh, have she? So, no, es, eh, sería had. 
Harim. Harben. Have. Have. She. Harben. In the second one. Um, the second have, one. Have, 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 have I read? Have I read? Uh, when she arrived, we have we, we have eaten. Eaten. Have. Have eaten, eaten. You're going eaten. so much faster this time. <laughs> or, yeah. Only, yeah. only yeah. one tea. With one tea. Only, yeah. only one. Have you forgotten? No. He. Why had he forgotten? Forgotten. So. What had he forgotten about the meaning? Why have he? Excellent. Number four. four. Um, um had it no had it has, been has, called has, all had, week had been called all week cold cold is the after after had we need a subject don't forget had it mm -hmm. had it had it had it been yes it's a short sound, okay? Had it, it, because this is had eat, it been, eat, had it, you eat had food, it been, right? had it been, it, had it been, had it been, yes, that's better. Present. Sound. No. No. The number two has has she seen? Do you need uh, help, guys? Seen. Mm, yes. Is in past. Some. The number yes, have has she seen? The number four. Okay. Have it been? Have been. Had it been? Yeah, you need the subject after the auxiliary. Number five. Had it been? Had I read? Can you do the exercise too, Marvin? Yeah. Uh, number five, had I read? Yeah. Had I read? Right. Had I read? Number. Uh, What's uh, number six, Marvin? The auxiliary and verb. The verb is. Uh -huh. Eden, yes. And how do you frame the question, Marvin? Number four, number, number six. six. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We had Eden. Oh, but it's a question. So you have to start with the auxiliary. When we, when she right had, when she arrived, we had eaten. Mm, yeah, it, but no. it's a question. So mm -hmm. say, have we, have we eaten? Eaten, yes. Have we eaten? Mm -hmm. Study. Okay. What we, 
Uy, what happened? Mm -hmm. uh, I just click on the X. What? Click at the beginning. Okay. Uh, X. Okay. Now what is this? Uh, it's an ad. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yes. What had you cook? Cooked. 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 When had they arrived? Arrived. Arrived. Right, because if you don't point the 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 point, don't put the point or some space, you lost. Oh my god. Yeah, are you having problems with something? Yeah, we finished the the 20 exercise. Wow. You're the only group who and finished. We are socializing. Socializing. Okay. Socializing. I'm gonna go back right now. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let's go back. Welcome back. <laughs> Okay, who finished? Did you finish all 20 exercises? Yes. Yay. We finished. Yes. We finished. Yeah, we finished. <laughs> all right, awesome. Uh, the first time you couldn't finish, I think. This time you did in the same time. So we're making progress. That's awesome. Now, as I promised last night, we have to practice speaking using the topic because that is the most important part to be able to produce this grammar, not only to know the structure, but to produce it, okay? So uh, the majority of you finished the first part, right, of the conversation question, but not the second part. So we're gonna work on that. And hopefully now that you practice, it's gonna be better, better to express and easier to express your ideas. Okay. And also to understand what they mean, because they're kind of complex, I know. But um, yeah, let's practice, all right. And I will be with you. So if you see me and you have questions, ask me, all right? If you don't understand a question or raise your hand, send a message and I will go to your group specifically to help you, all right? So let me see, um, in small groups of three, I guess with the same, let me see, I'm gonna recreate them. Hold on, there. Accept the invitation, please. Let's get speaking. Yes, I'm tired. Yeah. I had a very hard day. Yeah. Hi, Veronica. I'm... Veronica, are you there? Hi. Hi, Veronica. Hi. Well, what? Let's discuss Whether. the questions. All right, I just sent them again. We can start, if you want to, we can start by the last question, the one that says, in what ways do you take after your parents? Okay. But the, the question, teacher, can you explain that? Because the in the last class, yeah. we asked about that. Yes, and I gave you an example of how to answer it. Number four, you asked me, right? The first question. Or wait for it. How do you expect it to live in uh -huh. So you have to think of an event. Okay. And before that event, what were your, your expectations versus a reality? And I gave you this example. Let me write it here in the group. I said, before I came, this is the second event, before I came to Argentina. Okay. But that is my life changing experience you have to think of a personal one right before i came to argentina i had expected and this is past perfect the salary the salary to be well the salary section salaries to be higher can you see the example i sent it here through the chat Okay, that is my experience. But uh, Beatriz, for example, do you have children, Beatriz? Yes, I had two. I think that that is a life-changing experience, right? Yes. So you can yes. say, before I had children, I had expected 
you had you probably had different expectations and when you became a mother though that reality changed right in maybe yes. a way i don't know something so you describe that the difference okay okay, mm -hmm. okay. i had expect expect expected um living in different conditions mm -hmm. to be the reason why they think um, better than, than others. But if you, if you practice since your childhood, you can be also a, a good singer. singer. Okay. I think okay. Uh, that is a, there's a thing you can do with the practice uh, because uh, I had students who never sing a, a single uh, a single melody, but uh, they Alvin, begins... in general or in the past. Maybe here you can use past perfect. Que nunca habían cantado, so it's past perfect that had never sung. Song, okay, that had, had never, never sung, sung before. Uh, before, uh -huh, before, exactly. yeah. But uh, they begins to sing with me. Uh, it's a uh, was a club like Glee, <laughs> like Glee. But uh, the our finally was not um, create a band, no. Uh, our our objective uh, was um, quit all seven years. That I remember, I I don't have. any talent <laughs> you can say uh -huh. instead of que yo recuerde you want to say that right but say as far as i remember i don't have any talent <laughs> and you Jaime? Mm, i don't know i i all the time have a uh, one intelligence the uh -huh. the sport intelligence really yeah that would be the kinesthetic intelligence mm, mm, kinesthetic you uh -huh, yeah because you have abilities with your body to move your body to coordinate yeah yeah really i i, I think that because when i practice uh, Soccer, for example, uh, I have a talent. When I practice uh, baseball, uh, I have a talent too. And then I have a, a sport intelligent. I don't know how to say it. Yes, yes, yes. It yeah. is valid. Okay. Wow. Good. But I, today, I... I, I I don't have what talent I have. <laughs> I don't know. That is one. I mean, you don't practice. That's the problem. Yeah. And work a lot. <laughs> I, I and I and I and I work uh, very hard. Uh, but being honest, no politician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, yeah. <laughs> Never in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, the four. The four. Four question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how might you be different in your parents? Had moved to another country before you were born. Mm -hmm. I would be a great. Do you? If the country, it depends the country. If the country were Sweden or Norway, man, that would be <laughs> awesome because it's the, the nest of the black metal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which country? Yeah. Here, which country? Sweden. Sweden, oh my Sweden 
or um, stadium um, to understand uh, that their loyalty to me uh, was an uh, experiment. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe you will be a, a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I, I have composed some songs with that influence. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Alexander? Okay. Um, Mm -hmm. I have some relatives. Mm -hmm. Some relatives. I have a maybe. Yeah. Maybe my sister. I don't remember how this how do you say sobrina, uh, uncle, nephew? <laughs> So it's a girl. No, no uh, yes, uh, no, it's a, a girl or, or I have both, right? Yes. Okay. But it's difficult. Yeah. It's difficult. You only you know when you pass some difficulties, right, in the life. I think. Hmm. That sounds like friend song. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, no, no. <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> Be honest, Marvin. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Well, um, when did you know this these people? In, let me see, three years ago, yes. Three years ago? Um, yes, in February. I looked, I looked at different uh, between, between she. Okay, the next question. What do you have in common with your brother, sister, or cousin? Have you realized your parents noticed then? Do you understand that? What not really. Son of I, I'm going to read again. What are okay. some of your intrinsic characteristics? That's the mm -hmm. first one. How soon after you mm -hmm. were born? Have your parents noticed them? Um, I think this I my characteristic with my my parents, for example, is the impatient. Really? <laughs> yeah. In, but you look like a, a patient person. Not really. <laughs> yeah. but when my my mother says that the when I was a child, I I was very impatient, <laughs> and I want to finish all uh, faster. <laughs> really? The, especially the the homework or something that the the school assigned him. <laughs> okay, yes, Anya. So uh, another person is impossible to know um, how uh, to know how uh, it, to know how big it's gonna be your relationship with that person. Um, uh, so in that case, um, I hadn't I hadn't expected that I would that we get that we will that we get along with my friends. Yeah, only one girl that uh, I saw her and I and I and I say myself and I say to myself, she's a good she's a girl uh, an interesting girl, and now we have uh, twelve years uh, being friends. Yeah.
Okay. You, Alexander? <laughs> okay. Um, my best friend uh, for 20 years, okay? maybe. Is Leslie. Um, is 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 um, with um, my sister. Well, I am only child. You know. mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Carla, be my guest. Um. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Let me see what is something you have never thought mm -hmm. about. Uh, what is something? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe the, the babysit part. I don't know. Change it. The day person, things like that. Mm. Uh, I, I was never think be generous with my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now all my money is for her. <laughs> and I'm happy <laughs> with that. Yeah. Yes, and you feel inspired. Inspired yeah, right? the, uh, to work. When, when you see. When you see your baby, you know uh, why you are working, <laughs> why you have two jobs, <laughs> why you two. did not uh, buy a thing or no. Yes, I only yeah. see her smile and I love. understand everything. Yeah. yeah. I'm in love with my baby. It's something that, yeah. So sweet. It's yeah, it's true. So sweet. Yeah. And what do you think, Marvin? Is your thorn? Yes, I think uh, um, the babies need to uh, need all full time you have, right? And I saw, for example, one friend of mine, the old time in this in this time, the COVID time, and the 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 guarderia I don't remember um yeah. start to 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 stand up and walk and, and walking on yeah and oh. and now now I have controlled my hyperactive but uh, <laughs> but Electric usually <laughs> I talk a lot I talk a lot yeah and uh, in that way I can maybe uh, equilibrate that my intrinsic character characteristic. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo. Vicente Fernandez and Alejandro Fernandez. Maybe the generic mm. influencer. Genetic. But and I never had song in public. A child, like five, seven years. But when I grew up and let's see, um, 13, 14 years, and it was the music, I think. And that was my intrinsic characteristic. Yeah, my father's nice. Yeah. And you, Alexander? Mm. Okay. Um, when I was uh, 12 years old, huh, is. Um, Could you finish the majority of the questions this time, Alvin? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you said last time we need more time to express ourselves. <laughs> so, <laughs> not really. Okay. Teacher, is that Never question is very difficult to, to respond in a few minutes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, you, I... and you had to 
<laughs> to need a lot of vocabulary, vocabulary to express your ideas. And that kind of exercise, <laughs> uh, 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 you, you find the necessity to, to speak and you don't have enough vocabulary to express the ideas. Yeah, it's kind of an advanced practice, but as I was saying, it's the only uh, speaking activity for this topic that I have found in years. So yeah, sorry if it was difficult, but hopefully you learned some new vocabulary too by trying. Yeah. Having the yes. ease, hopefully. Okay. Well, yeah, it's been interesting topics. Yeah. Exactly. For example, tell me tomorrow. I mean, next next uh, week. I'm gonna ask you this question: What life, what Monday. life changing experience have you had? Because some people were talking about having children, uh, a lot of situations. I want to know. I'm curious, so I will ask you that question next class. We only have to do section four point eleven, and we finished the section. Okay, so that's where you should be four point ten, and then next week we will work on section five, and we'll finish. Okay. We'll finish the module. Nice. Uh -huh. If we have time, if we finish on Wednesday, for example, on Thursday, we can dedicate our time to simply practice talking and talking about fun stuff. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I hope to see you next week. Thank have you, a beautiful sir. weekend. Yeah. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.